Welcome back, everyone. We... Oh my god, that is a long ways away. We are hunting down Trask. And hopefully I can... Come on. Hopefully I can slowly slide my thingy over this way. And... <sighs> I should probably just run there. Well, we are on our way. Running to Trask. I suppose I could take this time to talk about a sponsor. My sponsor, rather, for this video. But at the moment, I don't have... Uh, I, d I don't have a sponsor to... ad-lib into the episode. Editing, is there, a, is there a sponsor for this video yet? I hope there is. And if there's not, we'll, uh, we'll just talk about potential sponsors. Like, uh, Arby's. I hear they have the mates. Bugger, I, I keep forgetting I want to go to Arby's and order their secret sandwich. It's supposedly a sandwich with all their different meats on it. I think it's like the mountain or something like that. The mountain sandwich. Oh god. Oh no. Landmines. I nearly set off a lot of landmines. Whew. That was terrifying. But yeah, I, I I need to just write that down as something to do. Confront Trask. Do I go right or do I go left? I think I go left to the oh god the Botanica. That's right. The now dying Botanica. Oh, well, I think I went the wrong way. <coughs> I think I was supposed to go to the right. Yep. What, uh. I want to ask my audience, what favorite fast food treat do you enjoy and it can be anything on any menu from any fast food place Havati, you still using that uh, grenade launcher good on you lass We found the entrance. Excuse me. <coughs> hey, Trask. How you doing, buddy? You uh, you doing good? I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. That's right. Yeah, of course he did. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Harlow wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Why did you betray Harlow? How do I know that I can trust you? Hmm. Neither of us trust Harlow. That's a start. You've got good instincts, then. You were right not to trust Harlow. 
I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All that palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You can't be serious. I've known the guy for years. Yeah, that's about how I reacted when I found out. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another board asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Hmm. You're asking me to take your word. You gotta show some evidence. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Yeah, there is. You're looking at him. <laughs> huh. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Why would the board buy off Harlow? Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard. And he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. What was Harlow doing for the board? Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Alright, I've heard it enough. Take it you've made up your mind. I'm not gonna kill you, but I am gonna ask for your ring. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Uh, here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Thank you, buddy. Find Trask's stashed evidence. <coughs> so, where is the evidence? Trask said he stashed evidence against Harlow in a vent back in Harlow's base. Okay, so if we go back to Harlow's base, find the evidence, and confront him with it, we should be good. I knew there wasn't something right about Harlow. What did I call him before? Clyde? <laughs> He does kind of look like a Clyde. <laughs> His new name is Clyde. I refuse to accept calling him that other name. His name is now Clyde. Editing every time we see Clyde, put up a Clyde face on him. <laughs> oh, that'll be fantastic. What? Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? What are we doing with shipments? I'm confused. Ada, why are there cows on my ship? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I'd like to continue our conversation from before. Forgive me, Captain. I would rather not discuss Alice Hawthorne today. I am feeling... 
discombobulated. Was there another topic on your mind? Are you sad when you remember Hawthorne? No, I am sure I cannot view emotions. The memory has merely disrupted one of my processors. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. It was my fault he died. How so? I should have predicted the statistical unlikeliness of success of my captain's actions. In fact, I did, but illogically disregarded the results. Why did you do that? He asked me to trust him. How exactly did Hawthorne improve your design? Captain Hawthorne attached 90.4% <coughs> of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toaster. <laughs> Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. Where did you come from? The information in my memory <laughs> banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator. Created by, redacted, on the date of, redacted, for the express purpose of, redacted. I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once, Alex did not build me, and would not say who did. Hmm, interesting. That's all for now. <coughs> Alright, gotta go back to Scylla. I think. Yeah, Harlow's base. For Clyde, Clyde's base. Editing. Uh, fix that slip up I did there. Do it live! <laughs> I can I'll write it and we'll do it live! Please avoid damaging. Alright, you two. Let's go. Yourself or others while you're out. Will the depravity never cease? Mornock Stellar Industries reveal their true colors. MSI joins forces with iconoclasts. Radicals? What? Will the depra- MSI joins forces with iconoclast radicals? That's not true. I mean, they're not radicals. They're just people. Monarch Stellar Industries reveal their true colours. That's absolute bollocks. <laughs> Come on, Pavati. Yay, Tay Felix. We're gonna confront your old buddy. First, I get some bullets. Yeah, yeah. Level 19 grenade launcher. Level 20. Level 16, 17, 23, 22. Alright, where's the vent he was talking about? Is it right here? Oh, it's on the outside. Of course. Why did I think it would be on the inside? How are we even able to uh, breathe in this place? Uh, what? Do I have to go up? I was closer to the v to the vent on the other side. Do I have to climb? It won't let me. Bugger. No, can I climb on that? Nope. Bugger. How do I get to the vent? Oh, uh, I'm... I'm smart. Stashed receipts. 
Copies receipts detail payments made to C. Harlow on behalf of the board for freelancing services. Included are the names of several freighters targeted by Clyde's crew, their manifests, and the sum value of all cargo delivered. Wait, is his name Clyde Harlow? I am really confused now. Hey, it is Clyde! So <laughs> I thought his name was Clyde or Harlow. So it is Clyde. Okay. Hey, Clyde. What's the word? Trask had a lot to say about you, Harlow. Not surprised. Trask was a dead man trying to negotiate with his own executioner. He'd say anything to preserve his life. Trask told me you've been working for the board. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Show him the papers. <laughs> Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. I think you owe Felix an explanation. Listen to me, Felix. Don't go jumping to conclusions. This isn't what it looks like. Yeah, because it looks like you've been taking money from the board. It looks like you sold out, Clyde. Oh, come on, Felix. We've all taken money from the board. They run this colony. I can't pay my soldiers in ideological purity. If I have to take the board's money to buy my guns, outfit my troops, and prepare my revolution, then I'll do it. Hmm. Don't listen to his excuses. <laughs> Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Oh, no! Goodbye, Clyde. Get up! Kill them all. Kill them. Goodbye, Clyde. This fancy soap we got is extra strength. I'm feeling a mite right. <laughs> Ooh, the vermin. Uh, level 14. Corporation Service Award? Sweet. This is... this is definitely not how I imagined it'd end. The board's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. You never really know what's going on inside somebody's skull. No. I guess you really don't. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. I can understand why you're upset. You feel like he betrayed you. Yeah, he did. <coughs> and I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over that. It'll pass. Give it time, buddy. I hope so. I don't see this one passing anytime soon. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. I'm glad I didn't go back to Harlow. I've got all the family I need right here on our ship. Thanks for your time, boss. Don't call me boss. And you're welcome. 
<laughs> Woohoo! Quest completed! Don't mind me while I just take everything. Goodbye, outlaws. Alright, what's next? Don't bite the sun. That'll have to be for the next episode. Thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. We got to kill Clyde. <laughs> and I hope you watch the next video. Where we hopefully finally get to see my sister Parvati go on a date. Truce everyone. <laughs>